So that is a conceptual overview of what Django is. But I think it will make more sense if we actually start using it. Let's get Django installed and ready for use. Django is a free open source software package created by a community of professionals and volunteers. All development happens in the open and everyone is able to contribute to make it better. You can visit the Django website at www.djangoproject.com. In order to use Django, you'll need Python on your computer. If you have Mac OS or Linux, you probably already have Python installed. If you have Windows, you probably don't, unless you've purposely done so. As you probably know, the Python community is going through a transition as we migrate from the venerable Python 2.x series to Python 3. Django supports both Python 2, any version of 2.7, or Python 3, starting with 3.2. In this video, I'll be using Python 2.7 but we'll point out a few things that you'll want to be aware of if you're using Python 3. There are two ways to install Django. You can install it system-wide or you can install it using a virtual environment. In any case, you'll need pip, the Python package manager. If you want to install it system-wide, then run pip install Django. Depending on how your computer is set up, you may get a permission error. In that case, you'll have to install it using administrative privileges with the sudo command. I'm not going to do that, however. I'm going to use a virtual environment. This is a great idea because it lets you have a different version of Django and other important modules installed without conflicting. We'll be using Django 1.8 in this course, but imagine this scenario. You create a project using Django 1.8. Then later, when 1.9 comes out, you create a new project using that version. Does that mean you have to upgrade your older project to 1.9? Well, since I'm using a virtual environment, no. I can activate my 1.8 environment while working on the older project and my 1.9 environment for the new project. So I'll use the virtual env command to create a new environment. I simply type virtual env django 1.8. I'm calling my environment django 1.8, but you can call it anything you like. Some people like to have an environment for each project, so maybe you'll call it blather env. Once I've created the environment, I activate it with dot space django 1.8 forward slash bin forward slash activate. Or if you're not using bash, then source space django 1.8 forward slash bin forward slash activate. Note that in the first case, it is a dot space. If you're on Windows, you type django18 backslash scripts backslash activate.bat to enable the environment. In any case, you'll see your prompt changes to indicate which virtual env you're using. If you want to deactivate your environment, simply type the command deactivate. But for the moment, we do need to have our virtual env enabled. Now that we've got our virtual env activated, we simply type pip install django less than 1.9 and press enter. You should not use sudo to do this. If you get permission problems, then you may want to ensure you've activated your virtual env properly, and you'll want to ensure you didn't use sudo to create your virtual env. By using less than 1.9, we're specifying the latest version of Django less than 1.9. Okay, it looks like Django is installed, so let's move on. In the next video, we'll create our application and begin to use it.